Hello and good evening, this is uh, Ruth Pozuelo from Curbal.com and uh, today is finally the day for a new DAX Friday and uh, we are going to go through filter, the filter function in DAX. We are going to use Excel for this demo and the reason for that is that I'm going to use the Excel add-in called DAX Studio. For those of you that does, doesn't know what DAX Studio is, uh, I will post the link to, to the program where you can actually download it for free. And it's a tool where you can actually run DAX queries. Extremely useful, you will see. And it has been developed by a team of uh, people that are actually one of the best in the business. So a really, really good tool. I'm sure that once I'm done with this video, you will want to download it. So the reason why I want to use Tax Studio is because it allowed us to run um, queries and see the results um, in, in a very uh, good way. So to start Tax Studio, you just click on it. And uh, it uh, detects that we have an Excel file with a Power Pivot model. So we say connect and it loads our tables. So we're going to talk about today filter. Let's go and look how filter is built. So filter DAX. We look at the documentation and here you can see that filter it is uh, a table and then a filter. We will use evaluate. This is actually the function that uh, runs the filter. And then we are going to do now is evaluate our table F5. And the reason I'm going to do this now is because uh, we want to see how our table looks like. So now we are going to, for example, filter by mountain bikes, product category mountain bike. So we want to create an expression that returns a table with product categories that are only mountain bikes. Okay. So to do that, we create a new one. Again, always evaluate. Now we write filter. Remember, first we need the table, product data, and then we need to give the filter an expression. And we said that we want to filter by product category mountain bikes. Mountain bikes. So to run F5, and here you can see what the filter is doing. It's actually giving us a table. It's returning a table that where the product category is equal to mountain bikes. So if we go to our original table. We have road bikes, mountain bikes, uh, city bikes, but the filter expression we just created, it filters by mountain bikes. Easy, right? And it's fairly intuitive. Now let's try a new filter. Let's say that we would like to filter our product table by products where the price it is over 25,000. Okay. So we create a new, we can of course use the same, but in this case, we're going to create a new. Again, evaluate. We go to filter. Remember we are table name, product, and then the expression. And we said that we would like to have the price to be over 25,000. 
F5, and here we have it. So it returns two rows. Let's go and look at it. And here we have these only two rows that are over 25,000. So you can either have a filter for a name or you can have a filter as a condition like bigger than, smaller than. Um, let's try now another filter. Let's do an expression that filters for both mountain bikes and road bikes. So evaluate as usual, then remember filter and the table name and now the expression. And now we want to have or, there we have it, product data product category is equal to mountain bike product data product category equal to road bike F5 and it's giving us product category road bikes is with an S bikes bikes F5 so here it returns the list where the product category is both mountain bike and road bike now as the expressions start becoming more complicated you have the possibility to use the format query yeah that it it just structures the dax expression in a way that is easier to read really nice now let's try these can i write two filter expressions in the same filter function let me show you what I mean. If you try to do this product first, the table name, right? And then if I try to write like you would, you could do in calculate product data, price, figure, and then you write comma, product data I don't know product category mountain bike so what happens f5 and it it's telling us that the, the maximum argument count for the function is to what is telling us is that you cannot have uh, two expressions on the same filter um, function but what you can do is actually nest your filter so you can actually write a filter there product you have to always have the table name We close that filter and then we remove that. So now we will have one filter function nested within another filter function. Let's format this so it looks nicer. And F5, see what it does? It works, okay? Something that is interesting when looking at this uh, function is uh, understanding how filter is actually working because what it is doing is actually working inside out. So the first thing it evaluates is the f this filter. So what it does is it goes and asks, let's do it. Evaluate So it evaluates these 
returns a table, puts it in memory, and then says, okay, from these, it goes to the next filter and says, okay, f from that, I only want mountain bikes. So then it takes and returns only the mountain bikes. There are different reasons why it's important to understand the order. The first one and most important is to understand what is going on and how things are filtered, but it's also if you want to optimize stacks. Okay, let me show you an example on why um, Let me show you an example on why the order is important. Let's say we would like to have uh, a list of um, mountain bikes, the products mountain bikes, where the margin is over 10,000. Okay, so we would write price minus cost. And then that should be bigger than 10,000. If it is, then return mountain bikes. So F5, and then we get a row where the price and the cost is bigger than 10,000. Now, what happened here? Let's go back here. What it has done is it's gone to, because it, it starts from the inside, it will do this calculation first. It will go price minus cost, and then is it bigger or not? And it will go. It will do that on every row, which it takes time, right? And then when it has the answer for that, then it, it will filter mountain bikes. If we had mountain bikes first, it will go to this table and select the three, which it can do very very fast, and then do the calculation. So it will take more time to do the calculations first. I hope you understand what I mean. Okay, so now that you know DAX Studio and uh, show you a little bit how filter calculates, I suggest that you take your own data set and play with it because uh, it is a great way to learn uh, how DAX behaves and what it does in the background. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, if you like it, please let me know by uh, liking it and uh, if you have questions comments suggestions let me know either on the comment box or in social networks that are listed on the description box and uh, subscribe i publish uh, weekly videos on dax dashboards uh, power query and, and everything that is useful regarding power bi uh, have a great evening bye